Morning, everybody. Um, out in the shop this morning, doing something a little different for uh, this time of year. I'll uh, show you all that here in a minute. If uh, if you're new here, uh, we picked up a lot of new subscribers here lately, and if you're new, we really appreciate it. Thank you all for being here. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, please hit that subscribe button, stick around. We're very thankful for y'all and thankful for uh, all the participation y'all have done with us, just commenting and, and, and going along with us on this journey. Just very thankful for that. So. But yeah, this morning I'm out in the shop. Uh, the boys stayed at Mimi's house last night and because it's our daughter Sarah's 16th birthday today. And last night we took her out with her friends to go eat at a restaurant and then this morning we're taking her to go eat breakfast and go do some shopping and uh yeah so uh y'all don't see sarah much if at all on the channel she's a cool teenager and she's too cool to be on her mom and dad's youtube channel but yeah so we're gonna take her do some shopping and then uh tonight reed has a really really big baseball tournament in uh, down close to Fort Worth we're gonna go to so I may throw in some clips of that at the end of this video we'll see but as you can tell I'm out in the shop you can hear the chicks in the background that the the taxidermy shop has now become a uh, part taxidermy shop and part hatchery so guys I guess now would be a good time to tell y'all that uh, if you didn't know already uh, my wife and I run a seasonal taxidermy business. We say it's a taxidermy business. It's not a traditional type taxidermy business. What we do is uh, just European mounts on pretty much any animal. So um, they bring us the head and then we turn it into white bone and then send it back to them. So in this past year we did about 400 European mounts or skull mounts for our customers. So during deer season in Texas, we are super busy from about November until February, March is a super, super busy time of year for us. So we're trying to take care of the homestead and we're, uh, we've tried to, we hunt a lot. So we're hunting a lot and then we're here working a lot. So, uh, my wife, Shannon actually uh, quit her part-time job at the church, uh, this past season so that she could be here. We're working full time. So it's a blessing for us. So like I said, we're doing something a little different this morning working on some uh, deer heads and some pigs. Since hunting season was over, we've just kind of been collecting heads and putting them in our freezer here. And then a few weeks ago, we decided it's time to get them out and get them worked on and get them back to customers and get caught up. So that's what we're doing. So if you don't know, this right here is a Neil guy right here. These are uh, exotic species find them a lot in South Texas. It's missing its horns. Let me show you. When I put the horns back on, that's roughly what it's going to look like. You have to remove these horns and clean inside of them because there's meat in there and it will stink if you don't. And these are a couple white tails. Another white tail down here. I made a video on this one. Uh, you may have maybe out before this video. I'm not sure, but uh, that was a dead head. Uh, my customer found it on their neighboring property. I'm sorry, they found it on their property. They think it came from the neighboring property and was maybe shot by a bow hunter and they found it. And these are all pigs, hogs, uh, whatever you want to call them. So when you clean them, the, the front teeth fall out. So on all these are missing the teeth. This one right here, the teeth have been glued back together. Let me, uh, let me turn around here and show you. So when it's in that position, it might look a little more familiar. So this morning before we, I'm waiting on the girls to get ready, I'm gonna glue the teeth back in these right here. Yeah, I guess. So this right here, these are I've glued these two in. They're drying. This is the one I showed you in the beginning. And I just stuck these in there and I'm about to glue them in there. So you can tell like they, they move up and, you know, they come out. 
move up and down or whatever they'll just pop out of there so yeah when i do them i have to rem they come out naturally but if they don't i'll pull them out and uh could get all there's some flesh and stuff behind them so just to uh get it super clean so hi hi what are you doing playing with dead animals what are you doing <laughs> playing with live animals yeah clean getting all the animal ew uh you got chicken poop on you? Yes, gosh. <laughs> I can't get away from it. Getting all the animals fed before we head out. Did you tell them what today is? Uh, yes. The so kitten. wish her a happy birthday. The child that they never see, it's her birthday. Yeah, wish her the ghost child mm -hmm. a happy birthday. So, all these heads will be finished up today. Well, no, we're waiting on a couple. We we. Put some of them on plaques. We don't have any plaques in here really to admit to, to, mm -hmm. to show them, but. Those are coming today. Yeah. So there are a few with the deer going on plaques, so we'll mount them on there. And then we'll call the customers and tell them to come pick them up. So I'm kind of just showing everybody what we, you know, we haven't done much mm -hmm. taxidermy stuff in a while, so. Winding the year down. Yeah, so these are the last stragglers and anything we, months. yeah, anything we get between now and, and hunting season, we'll just stay in the freezer until we get started, so. I wanted to show y'all how, what's the word? Ingenuity, ingenuitive. Yeah, I don't like that word. There's gotta be a better word resourceful? for it. Resourceful? There you go, resourceful, I like that one. How resourceful my wife is. <laughs> the Easter eggers have been flying up and landing on the edge of the playpen. So Shannon went and got Reed's, uh, it's not a backstop, what do you call that? It's a throwback. It's a throwback thing. You throw the ball at it and it bounces back to you. She got that to put over the top of it, so. That yeah, should work. Yeah, we're gonna have to get them out of there soon. We have eggs hatching in. It's leaking three water out of it because it's out in the rain. We have eggs hatching in two days. Yep. So. so we gotta figure out, I, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. The plan was the Easter eggers were going to go out with the silkies. Yeah. And kind of let her do her thing. Because that's about when we put that those wine dots out with her. Mm -hmm. And she did really good. But then she decided a week ago she went she wanted to go broody. So I'm scared to put those in there with her and disrupt her. So I don't know what we're going to do with them. But they're very definitely ready to go outside. I just don't know where. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Well guys, got all those, uh, well first we went and took Sarah shopping and she was looking for a guitar. We went to a few pawn shops, went to some other places and didn't really find anything she was set on. She's new to playing guitar so we really, I've played a little bit in the past but she really doesn't know what she wants. So uh, yeah, so we're, uh, we got the money set aside for her. That was her birthday gift, so we're gonna keep shopping and doing some research and deciding what she wants. So back home, as you can tell, we got all the heads finished up. That's all we got for uh, the end of last season. Um, so happy to have those uh, finished up and we called all the customers. So, And we're leaving in about 30 minutes to go to Reed's baseball tournament down by Fort Worth. So I'm gonna knock out a few errands real quick and uh, and then we're gonna head out. I wanted to show y'all something real quick. Y'all need to get y'all one of these for your homestead, for your farm, for your yard, anything. We use this thing all the time. I mean, especially when we don't wanna get the full wheeler out and get our like our wagon out right here. If it's Whatever we're doing, if it's not big enough to justify doing that, using this little cart, um, it, it comes in really, really, really handy. So let me turn the camera around here and show you. Guys, this little cart, we uh, we use it all the time. Taking plants down to the garden, taking feed to the animals, um, hauling stuff from the back of the property up here to put in the trash cans. Uh, you name it, we use it. Um, I'll roll some videos right now of us using it in the past. It's been in a lot of our videos. I'll roll those right now to show you.
So this is a Gorilla Cart. I'll put a link in the description of the kind it is. We're not sponsored by Gorilla Cart. If you know somebody that works at Gorilla Cart and they want to sponsor us, we'd be happy to talk to them. But we also, you know, when we find something on our homestead that we use and we like, and that it's a good product, we don't mind uh, giving somebody a shout out, even though we're not getting anything in return. So we got a haul some pig feed down there now. So I figured I'd show it to y'all and, and we'll go in there and feed the animals. But uh, so Reed's Mimi bought this for us, not for us. Reed's Mimi bought this for Reed when he was trapping on our neighbor's property. And the reason Reed wanted this one in particular is, is the handle actually slides back and it will attach to your lawnmower or your four-wheeler, which is really, really cool and convenient also. So he would put his traps on there and then hook it to his four-wheeler and ride over our neighbor's property and go over there and set his traps out and stuff, which is really convenient for him. And it, it tracks really good behind his four-wheeler. You know, it doesn't get squirrely or anything. And then the sides come off of it as well. And so if you got something bigger than just the basket part of it, you can take the sides off. They, they'll come off in about 10 seconds. And then you can lay something real big on there as well. We've hauled stuff, uh, you know, like cinder blocks and things like that. I can't, I'd have to look at the, at the manufacturer's description, but I want to say it holds, they say it holds like 800 pounds or 1,000 pounds or something like that, which is, you look at that little thing, you would think that's a lot, but we put a lot of heavy stuff on there. And it's, you know, we probably put five or six bags of feed on there before, and it's never had any issue and it rolls just fine. So let me turn the camera around here and I'll show y'all, uh, especially show y'all the front of it here where you can hook it up to your full wheeler. So guys, all you do is just knock that down right there. You can see it's been out and gotten rained on a little bit. And then this piece right here uh, connects to your four-wheeler, lawnmower, whatever. And that, that little handle just stays down. And you can, you know, if it's something real heavy, you don't want it, to... It'll, it'll pull pretty easy, but if it's something real heavy, you can just pull it with your lawnmower or your four-wheeler. And then the sides right here, this little uh, clip comes up. And there's one on each corner. And those sides just... They lock in right here and it comes off really, really easy. So, Squishy's pen is still a little muddy, as you can tell. We uh, mowed the yard the other day, put all the grass clippings in here, which helped it kind of firm it up a little bit, so. See if we can get the chickens to come to us. Ladies, here.
that swimming pool is for Skyler to get in there and cool off in. And back at the coop, I built them a perfectly good, very expensive waterer, and they would much rather go back over there and drink out of the pool. So, I don't know. Guys, as y'all can tell, the garden looks really good. We gotta get in there and pull some weeds, and I'm gonna run my tiller between the rows. Could probably do it today or tomorrow, but like I said, we're about to leave to read to go to Reed's baseball tournament, so it'll have to wait. The silky hen is still in the coop and acting broody. Shannon went in there and pulled out all the eggs. There were there was quite a few that we left in there, and maybe that's why she went broody. I don't know, but um, Shannon went in there and pulled out. I think all of them at four, and then marked those, and then went back in there, and she's been marking them each day, and. We haven't seen her come out much. Maybe maybe just a little bit here and there. So, but uh, yeah. So hopefully we'll be we're gonna be hatching chicks. Our hatchmate we locked it down a few days ago, and those should be hatching soon. We have silky hatching from the silky hen, and then we'll be hopefully be getting some uh, quail soon and hatching those. So we're gonna just be we have birds everywhere. So I'll just show y'all something real quick. I'm out here in the driveway talking. Let me show you. Skylar's sitting there with her nose on the window. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> Those are our daughter Sarah's. Uh, that's her bean plant. And then she's growing some more beans right there. Well, guys, we wanted to show y'all that gorilla cart. We wanted to pass that along to y'all. If you have a not even if you live in town and you just you know have a garden or, or a flower garden or whatever and do work outside um i'd go check that thing out they, and that, that they make several different ones and i've heard we know other people that have them that had great luck with them and uh and we've had great luck with that thing it's, it's a beast you can put anything i mean you can put um you know probably eight or more bags of feet on there than they can actually than you could actually get on there and keep them on there and it'd be able to pull them so Hope y'all like that. Uh, we want to go take care of the animals for this tournament. So, and somebody's screaming in the house. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're so thankful for all the new followers that we've picked up. We've had a lot of people come over from Walker Farm Fam. They gave us a really generous shout out, and we were not expecting that. Um, it, we hooked them up with uh, a guy that we know locally here to get some pigs, them in Hidden Heights Farm, and uh, Gary and ranger came down here and picked them up and then hauled them back up there and i think hidden heights took about half of them and uh gary and cassie kept the other half and we did that not expecting or wanting or anticipating a shout out or anything from them we were just doing it just to try to help them out and uh they gave us a really nice shout out we also if you don't follow them go check them out but we uh they've they've picked up two foster kids over the last few weeks and um you know i'm sure going you know just going along and everything's the, got it, you got it planned out the way you want and then that happens i'm sure it threw a, some wrenches in their plans and everything so i know they have a lot of friends that have been helping them out with meals and and a little cash here and there to buy the kids stuff and we um we didn't do much compared to what other people did but we bought them dinner one night and they um also they mentioned that in their video and again we didn't do that for any reason other than just uh, because they deserve that help because of what they're doing so um, but if you if you don't follow them I'm, I'm sure most people that follow us already do follow them but if you don't go check them out tell them we sent you uh, they're what they're doing is an awesome thing uh, with the kids and then just what they're doing on their property and, and their homestead and everything is really cool and and you won't be disappointed if you go check them out so guys Thank y'all so much if you haven't already subscribed and we'll see y'all again.